Hello guys and welcome back to another Encoba Space program. This is Designs of the Week episode 26 and we are going to make a time lapse. So first off I'm going to post a picture right on your screen and you should see a design called the SB101 Cosmo Lancer. And as I just said we are actually going to make this in a time lapse. So pretty cool and hope you enjoy. So I am back with the completed design and it is looking pretty good. I'm happy the way it turned out and if you're asking me why I placed the cockpit and the, the tail thingamajig, I forgot what it's called, but yeah that and the cockpit together, it just looks better that way. And the same thing with the MK3 cockpit and the uh, MK2 fuselage, they're 
inside each other and they look better the way the way they are now so that's the word I did oh yeah look I got the brakes on <laughs> on the way we, were, we were, weren't moving that fast but yeah and I have a question for you guys would you like me to start using mods for designs of the week I think that would be good um, it will allow me to you know have more aesthetically pleasing designs I mean this one looks good but some designs are, I just cannot do in the game and if you look at the texture right now of the land looks pretty cool at night time it's gonna be night soon alright so with this obviously we're gonna test the speed and I'll show you like a neat trick afterwards so I'll be right back Alrighty, so we are approaching 600 meters per second soon, and yeah, I'm just waiting for the heat effects. Voila, there we go, perfect, and that is a start. So I'll be back once I find its max speed. Okay, so as you can see, we are very high up and we are about to reach 2000 meters per second let's just check the flow that's fairly low, we're gonna have to throttle down but we are still increasing in speed so that's a good thing uh, we are increasing in altitude as well and yeah it's pretty cool let's check it up oh, I heard something, alright time to turn off the engines Turn off the engines time. <laughs> ah, I also have something as backup. You will see in a moment. If I can move this aside, and I'm gonna press spacebar. Uh, spacebar. Okay, this this thing won't open up. The parachute won't open up because we are fairly high. It says we're in orbit, but we're not. So, ho ho. This is very shaky. That's why you should always have RCS. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't always need RCS. You can always use the wings. But um, that's pretty much it for this design. I'm going to have SAS on in a moment. Just so we can continue going straight. I actually crash landed when I was testing this very design down there where my mouse is. Um, actually it wasn't really a crash landing, I survived. I'll show you how I survived, but... So... We should start heading downwards now. Alright, let's just help it out. Downwards, and I'm waiting for the uh, parachute to... open up. Anytime now. Now, I'm assuming. There we go. Come on. There we go. Awesome. And it doesn't really slow us down very much. <laughs> it's very slow. Not very effective at this height. But that's okay. It's, it gets better when we get really low. I've never been to this side of the planet. Nope. It's a first for me. Very cool looking terrain. Yes, indeed. Alright, so let me show you how to survive a landing. Um in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, that's a first. You will see how the magic happens. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do is just break off or cut the parachute because we don't need it for this awesome maneuver. <laughs> you will see the awesomeness. Did I have the smoggy bays extended the whole way? Huh. Did not realize it. Oh well. Not important. So, um, let's fast forward close enough to that ocean. And actually, you might need the smoggy base to be extended, but it's okay. Well, let's just see. Alright, let's turn on the lights. Does that actually work when these things are retracted? What about when extended? Huh. I don't know. We have to get closer. Ah, uh, yeah, they work. Look how weird that looks. Alright, so our goal here is to stall the plane. You must stall it. And we can see the ocean fairly clearly. And we are going 
super fast. We need to slow down quite a bit. So the way to do that is do not turn your engines on. Leave the engines off. And it appears that like it looks like we are moving side to side, but really it's the ocean right now. So be aware of that. And here we go. This is just gonna keep on going. 30 meters per second. And we are going super fast. Why does it say we're in orbit? We're not in orbit. <laughs> Alright, something's wrong there, but I didn't really notice that till now. Huh. We are in orbit, according to someone. And we have not really decreased in speed. Is this ever going to end? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There we go. Uh, I think we found a, a problem. If you have a look, we have just stopped. The, the plane is... Well, we survived, right? But if you look down here, it says we're going 174 meters per second. Is that right? I don't think so. Well, uh, you'd be glad to know that our highest speed achieved is 1,898 meters per second. So pretty good. Very good for a design like this. Um, yeah, very good. Why are we going at this speed? That's all right. You don't have to answer it. Don't worry. Anyway, uh, next design. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Unfortunately, I was only able to review one design for this episode because I went over the time limit. But anyway, the next episode we will show off the UNSC Amclad and the Ultra Hawk. Spoiler alert. <laughs> and as well as that, I'd like to tell you guys that I might be, or I might start using mods with designs of the week. For instance. Uh, for this design specifically, in the, the picture, it actually had missiles instead of these beams. And so if I have a mod, I'll be able to place down missiles instead of beams. So what do you guys think about that? I'm probably going to start, you know, integrating mods into this. I definitely think it will make things better. But thank you for watching and see you next time.